into detail. So sometimes you don't have to finish the thumbnail design, right? You just show the uh, really rough process, you can tell. You see this three, it doesn't have enough difference. Uh, it doesn't have enough uh, personality and uh, it's so rely on the spikes, right? It's just trying to use this as a personality, which is it's not a strong vision uh, of the thing. So um, I just, and uh, I, I kind of tell him to jump out of the, this uh, shape. It's kind of limiting, okay? He's trying, trying to do, to play with this uh, too much. So for the second version, we have this. It's, uh, it's I always, I said, well, mainly this part, okay? It's the, I would call it 1.5 version. Because it's only three, um, so it's, he used some. Okay, he said. He said, okay, you, you you told me the silhouette is too similar, so I'm gonna try to use some insects, which is pretty fun, really interesting. But imagine if you're trying to. I always say this. Imagine you're trying to design a village with ten buildings. Every building looks like this. Um, maybe not, right? So this is just. I, I think this is really cool, but. You don't just use it too much, and uh, sometimes it's too common. You see a lot of artists already doing this, right? It's not like uh, unique, you know. So uh, I tell him try something else. Uh, ask him try to use more of the African buildings. He already have it in the um, reference page, you know, mood board. I would call them mood board. Why? Why are you not using it? It's like you see the whole building here. Every building came from different world. It's not like in the same setting, right? That is why a few moments later, it gave me this, okay? This is what I'm talking about. You see, you see all the feedback I gave him? Let's zoom out for this page. Like really, really small, okay? Let's try this. You can tell even it's already really, really small. It's really like the size of your thumbnails, right? But you can tell it's 100% different. It's like uh, really, really each building have their personality. Uh, the shape, the silhouette, it's, it's so different. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. And also, uh, you don't see too much uh, buildings look like a pottery, right? It's look like very roundish and it's really, really fun and interesting. Uh, so I, I think this is a really good direction. I just asked him to, to just uh, go into some kind of details uh, to to just uh, uh, define all the textures and every um, X patterns. You already have it in the African facial paintings I just showed you guys. And also you can just tell the material difference uh, happening here. It's like you have wood area, you have some, you know, some of this kind of uh, very poor looking roof some shell and uh, these are um so it's it's not about details right if you if, if 